doesn't feel like Christmas right now. We still have heat index values around 102 in Kingsville, 98 in Alice, 86 is what it feels like right now in Corpus Christi. Your air temperature closer to about 80. What we have going on is a little bit of sea breeze trying to sneak in. You can see that line right there. That's pretty impressive to show up. We've had a lot of fair weather cumulus clouds and we've got those clouds have been booking it across our sky. That has to do with that low level jet we talked about yesterday. There's also a little bit of a dry line that's separating where we're seeing the cloud coverage and where we're not. A cold front is moving across the Lone Star State. That's what has all of the severe weather tornado warnings in place now moving across East Texas and they're under a tornado watch. For us, we're not under any watches or warnings as of yet, but it is windy and hot. All that severe storm activity staying to the north for now, uh, but that has to do a lot with the low level jet where that is is at its strongest. Uh, and then behind the cold front, we're going to usher in that colder, drier and nice air as we look ahead to Saturday. But as the cold front does move through the coastal bend starting around 8 o'clock, we may see some storms forming uh, in our far northwestern counties. Limited severe weather risk with 40 to 60 mile per hour wind gusts hail around an inch for those areas in green. Uh, isolated stronger storms kind of from San Patricio County to the north. So that's going to be areas such as Beeville, Mathis, George West, Refugio, Rockport. That's where we're looking at our strongest risk of severe weather. But overall, this looks pretty low for us. Timing again anywhere between 8 p.m. and 3 a.m. Um, tracking it out on future cast. There's that chance for storms developing. This is showing it a little bit on the later side 930 for those northern counties. But look, not a whole lot of activity showing up. What we have in place is kind of like a cap. It's known as sins convective inhibition. That's really going to limit a lot of that activity across the coastal bend, but areas to the north will have a little bit less of that. And so that's where we're going to see our, our greater chance for some of those storms. Severe risk again, 8 p.m. to 4 a.m., but probably closer to 3 a.m. Strong wind gust is going to be our greatest concern. We do have a small craft advisory in place due to the windy conditions we've been dealing with. That's going to be through tomorrow at 7 a.m. 62 degrees and the chance of storms tonight. Saturday, yeah, much cooler, 78 degrees, incredible day ahead. Here's your day planner for that. You will see temperatures there in the 70s, much of the day. It's going to feel amazing, uh, wonderful, a little breezy, a little dry. Uh, we'll get to your seven day forecast now. There it is, 84 degrees, though so back on Sunday. So when you change your clocks, we're gonna, instead of falling back, we're gonna try to get summer back. <laughs> That's what it seems like, yeah, almost. Yeah. Highs back in the mid 80s next what week. What are you going to do, though? That's why we live in South Texas, right? Short there. sleeves next yeah. week, y'all. We like it. We like it. We all like right. wearing short sleeves all year long. Uh, we've, if you don't like it, you better get used to it. <laughs>